Are y'all ready to piss some people off? Does a bear crap in the woods? And does the Pope crap on the broken lives and dreams of 200 deaf boys? Because it's about to happen. Don't believe the lies to see. I can be more than a robot. Hey, are you two? What's going on? Hope y'all are having a dope ass day today. It is your boy, Alex, and I'm back today with another reaction video, checking out some more Jordan Peterson. Literally, you guys ask for so many different Jordan Peterson videos. I... Ow! Ow! Fucking goddamn it! Ow! Mother bitch. That was so painful. Oh my god. I've fallen over and done dumb shit on purpose and shit for like the comedy in the videos. Oh my god, dude, that was 100% real. Earlier, I smacked my knee dead on on a sharp ass corner of a wall in my house. And it was the most god awful thing. I just fucking bashed the wall. I was like, ow! And then just now, the exact same spot on the corner of my, on my desk. Oh, sweet God. That was difficult. And today we're going to be doing something difficult by listening to Jordan Peterson. It's a day full of difficulties. Today we're going to be checking out Jordan Peterson discusses whether men and women can ever be equal. Oh my dude, that was one of the most pains I ever felt. That didn't even make grammatical sense, but uh, okay. Let's see what Peterson's got to say about this one. What do you understand by equality, Sophie? What does it mean to you? Uh, freedom. Can you be more, is it a quality of opportunity? Is it equal pay across the board? Is it something more than that? I think equality is better for everyone. I, I yeah, think, okay. you know, I, and I'm really delighted, uh, you know, I love my job because it's an optimistic and a hopeful job, which is about creating more choices for people. I'm interested in people being able to have different choices and, um, and having equality of outcome. So I think that that right there is a very idealistic approach. I don't think that it's logical and I don't think that it's practical. I think Peterson's probably about to go in on this. I almost feel like I know exactly what he's going to say. Aha. Well, so you're going to have choices and equality of outcome. What if people choose, choose different things, which is what they've been doing in Scandinavia? So the Scandinavian countries have moved more towards gender equality than any other countries. And the personality differences in Scandinavia have increased rather than decreased. And the proportion of women who are choosing STEM fields has decreased rather than increased. So as cultures become more gender neutral, the number mm -hmm. of women who choose STEM fields decreases. What do you mean by yeah. STEM fields? So that's what I was thinking that he was going to say. He's going to, I thought he was going to touch on the topic that, you know, traditionally engineers are mainly geared towards men, teachers, nurses, more geared towards women. It's the choices that different genders make that, that makes it a fact that equality of outcome will never be a thing if you leave it up to the individual genders to decide for themselves. That makes logical sense to me, right? Does it make logical sense to you? Drop a comment down below, let me know. So that's science, technology, okay. engineering, and mathematics. Yeah. So if you let men and women make their choices, what actually happens is that they specialize in different, in different situations could they and you not, don't get equality of outcome. Could they not have been programmed to have those views from the moment we raise them and give boys no. Lego and construction? No, because, because what happens is that as countries get more egalitarian, which means there's less programming, programming of that sort, the differences get larger, not smaller. And the scientific mm. data on that is clear. And most of it was generated by people who have a left-leaning bias, so you can't blame it on conservative scientists. It was mm. a shock to everyone to find that out. So I think, wow. I think, I mean, I think the difference between Jordan and Holy me... Holy shit, we, wow. Um, we look at... Uh, that was a good question, though, right? Does this... Because every small boy that I... Already a rough sentence. Every s small child boy... It's not getting better. Little boys like to... Pl Legos, the construction, that's a, that's a good argument, I'd say, but that scientific data, I haven't seen it, but it sounds really interesting. Wow. Evidence, and we lean towards different theories. So Jordan's theory is very much evolutionary, you know, that there are inherent differences in men and women. Mine is very much more social role theory, if you like, and I, that, that men and women are taking on different roles due to the expectations that society puts on them. And mm. it's, it's interesting that Jordan frequently uh, cites... Now, we're in almost in a, in a day and age where those things are happening at the same time. Those two theories intermingle, in my opinion. Scandinavian countries where they've made more... Like, there's nowhere in the world that women are equal, um, but... Scandinavia has made the most progress towards um, uh, shared parenting, um, etc. Et yep. 
Um, that said, um, it's not done yet. There's nowhere in the world where this is done yet. But so, it's having the opposite so, effect that the gender equality types predicted. But, but, opposite, not, not the same. So much, and it isn't a theory, it's actually data driven by tens of thousands of surveys and the best scientific literature on the topic. I'm no, it's not a theory, mm. and I didn't come about it because of my political perspective. I looked at the data. What it showed was that as countries become more egalitarian, the differences between men and women grow. Wow. They don't shrink. Now, it's so interesting because for people that don't really like Jordan Peterson, they always, I feel like, tend to say something along the lines of thinking that he's coming from a political perspective when in doubt, keep in mind, not when in doubt, in fact, he is a clinical psychologist, so he's studying the data and, and actually coming to a conclusion based on his professionalism, so this is fascinating. So what I'm interested in is, is data and analysis as well, and I'm particularly interested in the ones presented, such as the ones by the University of Southern California. Um, which discovered that um, change towards gender equality is actually being slowed by beliefs that are legitimizing social inequalities on the basis of sex. And I'm also interested, I mean, okay. like Jordan, I look at the data and I look at the studies, and I'm really also very much interested in studies uh, like the analysis that was done by um, the American Psychological Society, which looked at 45 analysis of se whether there's sex difference over 20 years. And its conclusion was that men and women are basically alike in terms of personality, in terms of cognitive ability, in terms of leadership. Wow. But what it did find was that media depictions of men and women as fundamentally different perpetuate misconceptions as does workplace bias. Oh, God. So I like no I like watching videos like this because for me I like to put myself in people's shoes, right? So I think that that's one of my character traits that it really allows me to be beneficial in society which is empathy. And and that's literally putting yourself in other people's shoes. So whenever I watch this I, 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 for some reason, I put myself in the shoes of Jordan Peterson as if I were him. And if I were debating her and she brought something up like that, I wouldn't know what to say next. I'd be like, oh shit. But it's, it's going to be really interesting to see what he says because I don't think he's ever at a loss for words. So kind of being able to craft arguments and, and see what somebody would say is extraordinarily interesting. Let's see. It's my fault. So... No, well, you know, you're leaving soon. It's okay. <laughs> men and um, women, men so. and women actually are more the same than they are different. But the issue mm. is, is that small differences at the population level can turn into very large differences at the extreme. So, for example, mm. men and women are broadly similar with regards to aggression, although men tilt a little bit more towards aggression. About so that if you picked a random person out of the population, male and female, and you guessed that the male was more aggressive, you'd be right 60% of the time. But if you take the one in a hundred most aggressive people, they're all male. And that's why the overwhelming proportion of people who are in prisons are male. Mm. Now, do you want to equalize that, just out of curiosity? I what about bricklayers? They're 99% male. And, the f and we've got about three quarters of, of the population now in universities, mm. in the humanities and social sciences are female. Yeah. Are we going to equalize that? And men, mm. men work more longer hours, mm. they work more dangerous jobs, they're more likely to move, they're more likely to work outside, they're more likely to participate in jobs in the STEM fields that are scalable, they make more money for those reasons. What are STEM fields? I don't know. Drop a comment, let me know. Educate me. And that's all hidden under the idea that the reason that men and women make different amounts of money is because of their gender. It's a very simplistic analysis and trying to oh, address I just going to say, can you well, come back I mean, on that? I'm, I, what I'm trying to equalize is... That was a great argument by Jordan Peterson. He's talking about the extremes again. The extremes, although men, men and women are overlapped for the majority, those extremes make all the difference in the world. Are we going to normalize those extremes, which tends to be the difference of free choice for men and women? You know, it's, it's interesting. Is opportunity and choice. Fine, and let's I, equalize and, choice. You agree, you agree, you agree on that. that, but we won't get equal outcome think, that way. And I think mm, that what happens then, nobody knows, because we, we've, we've never done it yet. We do know, but we know what's happened in it Scandinavia, has, but, it has, but it's not fully got there yet. No, but it's going in the opposite direction that everyone predicted, and strongly. You know, I, think there's, I think one of the things I loved about Jordan's book, which I read, speed read last night, so forgive me, Jordan, I've not read every line, <laughs> but one of my favorite rules in Jordan's book is rule nine, which says, assume the person you are listening to might know something you don't. Yeah, exactly. mm -hmm. And I think that in a country where men outnumber women um, uh, by two... Yeah! Let's follow along, shall we? Where is that rule? Rule nine, assume that the person you are listening to might know something you don't. That's interesting. I don't know why I needed the book to corroborate that. To one in parliament, in local government, 
um, where women's voices are not equally represented in media, um, where our education systems um, still are teaching boys and girls ideas of pink and blue. Yeah. What I'm trying to do is work with thousands of optimistic, hopeful people uh, for change. OK. You set, kept very quiet through this, Michael. I'm, I'm going to make you uh, put you under a bit of pressure. Do forgive me, I'm going to come to the calls in a moment. Your boss called the gender pay gap a burning injustice. Is it? Yes, it is, because uh, it's, there should be inequality. Uh oh, of, the gender uh, pay gap, here we go. There needs oh, to be the shit. same rights. But you know something that surprised me? That neither of you, and, and the quality of outcome, sure, all of that, all of that. But the one thing both of you haven't mentioned is the biological difference, which unfortunately affects women's career prospects, whether we like babies it or not. Well, yeah. Babies. Mm. And that does cause a problem. You know, if I were to take a sabbatical from a corporation for a while, it's going to set me back slightly. And it is a problem that biologically it's women who have babies, not men. Sure, but that's why we are the... So the Women's Equality Party is the only party in the UK uh, that's got policies around shared parental she leave. She's we're so the political. Only, we're, the only, well, we're the only party that um, has got fully costed plans for universal free childcare. Um, what we're saying is that um, change, change the we're outcomes. trying to change the outcomes. And also men are joining our party, well, men who are I, really I tired. Say, and I'm, sure I'm going to have a word with Michael, because <laughs> I'm sure you want the application. Okay, okay, forgive me. Forgive, we take forgive, joint forgive me, I want to take one call, but, if you'll forgive me, because time is sure. really short, and I owe it to the viewers to hear their views on this. We've got Salim calling from Manchester. Salim, good morning. Hi, Matthew, how are you doing? I'm very well, I'm loving it. I'm uh, hogging, uh, pig in heaven today. Uh, <laughs> what do we think about equality? Will it ever happen, Salim? Um, I, I, I was going to say I thought it was going to happen, but after listening to Jordan, he's swayed my opinion. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. why, did you th why did you think it was going to happen? Because I think we're going to become more cognitive creatures and jobs are going to be more about mental skills. Technology. But then I've, I've been visited schools and I work in STEM. I, I, I'm a software developer and... The number of women doing software this is development so, hasn't been... I'm sorry there hasn't been much commentary. This is just so fascinating for me to check out. Like, this is the type of shit that I would watch in my spare time, which is why I've started to make reactions to Increased? Mm. I would have thought they would have increased more, but I went into secondary school to do GCSE yeah. uh, IT stuff, and there's very, very few girls doing IT, and I was thinking, IT is the future, and why are... And they are... The schools are pushing for more girls yeah. to go into IT, mm. But there's only... Two, uh, can I, I, can I just... about eight schools. Can I just... Thought, sorry, sorry, Celine, can I just oh, next... Sorry. No, because no, 30 seconds. Sophie's idea, actually, representations in the media could be affecting Absolutely. such choices. Geeks, we see geeks, bespectacled blokes with bad hair on computers. That's what tech <laughs> That's means, me. isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, and you're absolutely right, because I think, actually, that one of the other things we want to do is to have a look at curriculums, to have more female role models, to, you know, uh, okay. to encourage girls. Because so long as we still see STEM as a boys' area that we're that. trying to get girls into, it's not going to work. We need to do the work we're doing on care, get more boys thinking about, you know, nursing, yeah. teaching, more role okay. models for boys in schools. Uh, and That's the way you break it all down. programs like EastEnders, like the Archer, yeah, that's that's helped, right, right. Right. right, so, I, listen, I have to draw things to a conclusion. Can I just say how wonderful three people, diverse political views, diverse views on uh, many other issues, that get along famously and have wonderful conversations. Thank you. That is Thank exactly you. the That's ambition that I have for this show. Uh, so, Jordan, good luck with the book. It is out now. It's called 12 Rules for Life. Wow. I mean, that's 100% facts. He hit the nail on the head right there at the very end, where it's like, all I want to do, I don't care what political party you are, I don't care what gender you are, I don't care what race, creed, ethnicity you are, it doesn't matter to me. I like a good argument. And they were staying civil, I really do like that. On those perspectives, if I'm going from an arguments perspective, who do I agree with most? It depends on your outlook, right? If you are more about an idealistic approach versus a more pragmatic approach, that will determine wh whose argument you agree with more. For me, personally, in that video, I agree with Jordan. I really do. That concept makes sense. But it's not all about what I think. I'm just some tall, goofy-ass, skinny kid that reacts to videos on the internet that you watch. Drop a comment down below letting me know what you think about this video. And with that being said, I will see you tomorrow, you beautiful creature. Love you guys. Peace!